is good everybody this is Lonic B and I am back with another shoe review for you guys I haven't done this in a while I've definitely copped a lot of kicks since the last time you've seen but right now I have a very special pair to me I have wanted well I wanted a variation of these shoes for a very long time these are they came out in this colorway originally a long time ago I'd say almost about 10 years ago I want to say 2004 I believe it was and or no nope it was LeBron James's rookie season if that doesn't give you a kind of hint of what shoes they are I'm gonna go ahead and reveal to you what shoes we have in store today you guys can kind of see what they are right here bang the lebron james 12s the ext wheat colorway all right so we have the lebron 12 what is it let me let me get the official name lebron 12 ext wheat and the colors are wheat wheat metallic gold these came out on april 4th and i had to cop them i'm gonna try and put a picture of what the first air zoom generations the very first lebron um nike shoes that lebron had with nike his his lebron ones basically um came out in this colorway it was for the all-star game here's kind of a gist of the shoes kind of this is from an article that i got off of sneakernews.com um, it's been over a decade since LeBron took flight in the NBA's Rookie Challenge alongside Carmelo Anthony and Dwayne Wade, where they put together a spectacular array of alley-oop finishes in a show that rivaled the actual All-Star Game. One thing that definitely brought some extra attention was the Timberland-inspired wheat flavor of his first signature silhouette in the Nike Zoom generation. Now, Nike is finally returning to the motif with LeBron's first season back with the Cleveland Cavaliers in this Nike LeBron 12 EXT wheat. All right, so the EXT, those are basically like, kind of like a lifestyle shoe in a sense. Uh, they use a lot of premium quality materials on their shoes. So as you can see, these are basically the same quality type of materials that you would get with a Timberland boot. You can see they have that kind of micro suede look. There's a look at the inside, if you guys can see it right there. Let me flip it around so you can kind of read that. Yeah, so these are super dope, man. What's it say on the inside? Oh, Versit Volni Vertis. I have no idea what that means. Drop it down in the comments if you know what that means. But yeah, these shoes are dope. They have the little gold accents right here. I wish they would have had a more kind of like Timberland look to the laces, but that's okay though. These definitely go with the first pair that came out. You can see that suede right there, moving it around, all that. Definitely some nice materials. Here is the bottom. You guys know they have that funky bottom and stuff like that. I actually have another pair of the 12s. I have the NSLR pair. And then you got that gold swoosh right there that kind of sets it off. Although, I do have one little gripe with this. That swoosh kind of looks like it might chip off. Let me see if it can focus. It doesn't look super... Uh, I can't get it. It doesn't look like it will get... Mm, yeah, anyway, <laughs> I was trying to get it to focus. It, it's not... looks like maybe if you bump into something, it might fall off. Um, not fall off, but the paint get chipped very easily. We got the date 213-4. I believe that was the day of the rookie challenge that LeBron participated in with all of his peers. Definitely a tight pickup for me. Very glad to have these in my collection. All right, I told you guys that I have another pair of the LeBron 12s right here, the NSLR edition um these were the first ones that came out usually i like to get the first colorway of lebrons that come out kind of like a nostalgic feeling but i have these ones right here if you guys haven't seen them before it says nslr right there on that left side of the tab definitely a great shoe with the wheats they definitely did have a very high price tag um well worth it though i was very happy to get these back man 
um, or will actually have the chance to get these because when I was younger, you know, my parents didn't have that much money to get me shoes like this. And so now that I'm, I got a job for myself and stuff, I'm able to get the type of kicks that I want, man. Really appreciative. But uh, yeah, pretty much right here. This is the shoe. One more little overlook. No special box. Didn't come with the regular Bronto box. I do like this little thing right here. That's kind of like a, not necessarily a lace lock, but kind of like a little lace jewel. Pretty cool. Nice materials. Very premium right here. Very hefty price tag at $250. But I like the colorway. I like the shoe. If you like this review, make sure to drop a like down in the comments so I could go ahead and show you guys some more shoe reviews. Um, another pair of shoes that I got that I have on feet right now. Here, let me take these LeBrons out of camera. That I was very proud of getting. Got these on sale. The uh, Air Max 2015 Reflective. They have the icy bottom right there. I've been rocking these a lot. Um, let me do a little demonstration for you guys. See uh, if you guys can see it. Let me get a little light flashing. Ah, you guys aren't going to be able to see it. They, they're actually reflective. They're, they reflect. I want to try and get a light in here or something like that. Let me see. If I get some... If I could get them to reflect. Yeah, nope. Not going to work. I need a flash or something. But whatever. They're reflective. Very dope. They have that 3M material all the way around. First pair of Air Maxes that I've seen with a clogged out bubble right there. Nice and speckly and sparkly and stuff. They're very, very dope, very comfortable and stuff. Got them on sale, 170 from Nike. And uh, yeah, man. But just like I said, make sure to drop a like if you guys like shoe reviews. I, you know, I try and do something new. I do have other hobbies and stuff like that other than just playing NBA 2K, Madden, and what other games that I play. So make sure to follow me on Twitter at L-I-L-N-I-C-B. And as always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is Lil Nick B, signing out.